Welcome, and welcome back to all that the wind has brought here, to another episode of Roots of Pacha. Yeah, I know, you thought we were done. And and to an extent we are, we have really, quite frankly, hit completionist levels. Um, but we're going to hang out around town, we're going to breed some animals, and hopefully this Ibex is female. Um... We don't care other than the fact that it's female. It's blue, very cute. We're gonna skip the cutscene. There's been some saves coming. I'm I'm gonna be honest. Um, we got a female. Perfect. That took us three tries this time. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. We're gonna grab ourselves an ostrich. Hello, Miss Clover. And we're going to realize that those pickles aren't done. That's fine. We're going to grab out some of this wheat. Though I could probably finish off that rice. I wouldn't mind getting some of this just out of the way. We may do that rice tomorrow. Because I accidentally put that in. Um, Let's see. What do we got here? Daisy is going to breed. Okay. Let's go... We have the chicken. You know what? We have a chicken. There's our chicken. With one of these chickens. We want a red female out of that. That'll be fine. Do it. Okay. It is Saturday. That's also fine. We will pet you guys. Ostriches will be done soon. That's fantastic. Chickens. We don't have to worry about any of these chickens. Actually, we could probably breed that bean. Hmm. You know, that's an idea. Even though it's not perfect, we could still breed it. And try to get more out of it. Hmm. We might do that. Broccoli's ready. We're just gonna leave the broccoli for the whole season. We might harvest it when we're done. But until either the animals are really, really close, or the season is over, that's staying. Okay. I could give her a pomegranate. I could do that. I'm not going to. <laughs> Frankly, just not gonna happen. But we will grab that milk. Okay. See, so I didn't need to worry so much about that ostrich. I could have bred others. Oh well. We'll grab that wool out. We'll grab clover. Not ostrich. Guanaco. Llama. That thing. Yes. Frankly, yes. Uh, you still can't be bred. I should have that one as a mount just for the fact that I can't breed it yet. It's okay. We're gonna see all of what I have up in these chests. Horns are a thing that we have up. Hoops are a thing that we have up. We don't have any wool fibers in here. That's fine. And this is going to go into this chest. Not that. This is fine. We will deal with the shipping bins today. That's a thing that we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna go over into the chicken barn and see if there's more feathers for us to grab. Because I'd like a full collection of feathers. That'd be good. Eggs, feathers, perfect. 
I'd like to grab stuff out of the house if there's anything left. Um, these are all decor, so we can't really do much with them. And that's empty. Cool. Very nice. Dada and Mamu dance. Yeah, maybe if Dada was ever around. <laughs> Thank God for Reese. That's all I can say to that. Dada make good food. That's good. I think he's cooked me a meal one time. Okay, so we have more feathers. We have more eggs. We have more uh, furs. That's fine. As long as we have the feathers. Now this bin is perfect. Okay. So that bin is absolutely perfect. That's a trash bin. This bin... I don't know. We might make that eggs. Or something. We have all of the stuff that we don't make anything out of. Which is a good start. It is. It's a very good start. Um, fish, I'd like to pickle the fish. So, let's come up here. Let's put all the eggs and all the fish into here. Because we're going to try and pickle all of that. So, let's do that. All the fish... And the dates we'll just sell. We don't need the dates to be our final day shipping stuff. We should be able to get through all that pretty quick. I know it looks like a lot. It's not. Our pickler will get through that real fast. That's decor. Um, let's take some herbs. Let's take some ores. Let's take all this good stuff. And we're just going to ship it. I mean, not right now. We're not going to ship it all right now. But we're just going to clean it up. At some point fairly soon, I'd like that bin emptied. Okay. So in this bin, we're going to put all the herbs that we're going to make into medicines. That's fine. Um... That's food. Okay. That's food then. We're gonna put the feather in here and the poop in here because those go. We're going to put that wood together with the other wood. The food into here. This is going to be ores and other such resources. For now. I mean, we're going to fill up the remaining space later. But for now, that's what that is. Um, Mandrake is just a root. It's not an herb. I don't know if we can pickle it. Let's see. We cannot pickle the mandrake. Okay. That's fine. Let's pickle some eggplants. Let's get all this pickling done. And hope just hope that it gets done fairly quickly. And that we can maintain enough vinegar to do so. I mean, probably not. But that's fine. We can get more vinegar. Uh, was there anything left in here? Just some decor. Okay. So, we'll run some stuff over here. 
Um, we'll throw those in. Apparently I can throw an obsidian, but it needs to be milled. Okay. Now, plant fiber, plant fiber can be spun, and we're gonna do that because I've always kind of wanted to. We're going to grab up all the gemstone powders and all the wools. Because I wanted the gemstone powders to go into the ore box. That's really why. So all that goes in there. Just like so. And I actually want to stash all the wools. Because I don't think we're going to get full wools by the time that we have everything else. I don't think we're going to fill that up. I really don't. Much as I'd like to. I don't think we're going to. Though most of those bison should be producing every day, even though it doesn't look like they are. We still only have two barns with woolly animals in them. So. We'll have to settle. Okay. We're gonna grab out more wools. And we're gonna grab out more juice that will be easy for us to finish, as well as some flowers and some oils. Okay. Into the junk drawer, we're gonna throw all the flour and all the oil. And the random mandrakes, sure. And into here, we're gonna throw more wools. That's good. Up over into here, we're gonna throw that. We're gonna go ahead and collect the two milk thistle and throw them in there too. Because I hate when my animals get sick. So we're just gonna do that. And then I guess we're gonna work through some more of these bins. So I guess I'll bring you guys back when I've done some of that work. All right. Okay, I am back and uh, tomorrow we are going to have to do the casking shed. Um, but that'll be the only one we have to do. In the meantime, I got us some stuff to sell. Um, and that shouldn't take too much longer, thankfully. We'll go ahead and we'll get some sleep. That's gonna bring us up by another 31,000 contribution points today. Um, not too shabby. Go ahead and give that a save. We're up to 723,000. Oof. Alright. And we awaken to absolutely nothing. But that's okay. Everything we want to do today is going to have to wait. For the saving of the game and the ending of the day, we've come to the end of the episode. If you guys like what you see, please feel free to hit that thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. But until next time, may the wind bring you on another journey. Coral Island comes out on November the 14th. And don't forget to dance. <laughs>